What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using a Pokemon that has been highly requested on the channel and is personally one of my favorite. We are using Speed Boost Sharpedo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying the BDSP content. I'll keep the videos rolling out for you guys. But uh, yeah, let's get rolling here with Sharpedo, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Just look at him. He's got four fins coming in at all angles. Looks so dope. I just think his design is absolutely amazing. And his typing is really cool too. He's water and dark typing. And we gave it the life orb as item. Its EVs, I'll show it to you guys, are fully invested into attack. A little bit in speed and a little bit of HP. I didn't want to fully invest it into speed. Because it does have speed boost as its ability. And what that allows us to do is get a plus one speed boost stat at the end of every single turn. So I felt like if I put more EVs into speed, we would just be wasting them at that point. Because it already guarantees yourselves that speed boost at the end of every single turn. If that makes sense. Last but not least, moveset we're rocking with this Pokemon is Crunch and Waterfall for two stab moves. We got Protect, and then we got Ice Fang for our coverage move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Ambipom, one of the best leads in BDSP. It's got Fake Out, it's got Double Hit, it's got U-Turn and Aerial Ace. It's just super fast, and it hits like a truck, so I really do like this Pokemon as a lead. It's got the Technician ability, and last but not least, the item it is holding is that Silk Scarf to make normal moves do a bit more damage. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Crobat over here. Crobat is just such a good Pokemon, flying and poising and we gave it the figure berry as its item. It's rocking the inner focus as its ability. It's got some EVs in attack, special defense, and regular defense. And then the moveset's rocking its tailwind for speed control, taunt to taunt opposing support mods. Then we got cross poison and brain for two heavy hitting stab moves. Fourth Pokemon on squad is Scizor. Do I need to say anything about this Pokemon? One of the strongest Pokemon in BDSP. It's got Bull Punch, it's got X Scissor, Sword Dance Protect, Rocket Technician, and then obviously Metal Coat as its item. Usually I like to give it life, life Orb, but Sharp Peter's rocking it in today's video, and so we just threw this thing a nice little Metal Coat. Fifth Pokemon on squad is Gliscor. If you guys watch any of my BDSP content, you guys know I absolutely love using this Gliscor. It's got the Toxic Orb alongside with the Toxic Heal ability, so we poison ourselves and then we use that poison to regenerate HP at the end of every single turn. We're rocking Sword Dance, we're rocking EQ, then we got Roost and Facade for our four moves. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be the Support Arcanine. Really, really powerful Arcanine. It's got Intimidate as its ability. It's rocking Flamethrower, and then it's got Snarl for special attack drops. will o to burn physical attackers and protect for its final move. And then its item is going to be that Guava Fairy to give it some big HP when it falls below. I think it's like one fourth. It's just really, really good. But yeah, this team is looking pretty solid. Let's hop into that Coliseum, onto that online ladder, look to get some wins with this Speed Boost Sharpedo team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. We are hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against a rather strong team. He's got Togekiss. He's got the Arcanine, just like us. He also has Breloom, Sableye, Ambipom, just like us. And last but not least, Cresselia, which is a rather annoying Pokemon. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of physical attackers, so I feel like he's going to lead that Arcanine and try to get after it. So I might just lead Sharpedo, have the Intimidate affect him, and then roll up in there. We could go Ambipom as well, or we can go Arcanine of our own, too. Or I could even go Crobat, just for a nice little Tailwind, and we do have Inner Focus. Or even a Taunt if he wants to go Crest. So you know what, I'm going to roll out with Crobat here, and then on top of that, I think I'm going to roll with Sharpedo. I kind of just like that lead. It just works really well for us. Or I could go Arcanine and, yeah, I'm kind of digging that Arcanine and Crobat here. For a nice little Intimidate, I can Snarl if I want to. We can do a decent amount with it, so I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. So we're going to go uh, Crobat, Arcanine, bring Sharpedo in the back, and then last but not least, I think Scissor really does some work here. I think Scissor does some work as long as we can get rid of that Togekiss, or not Togekiss, uh, Arcanine. We can really rip through it. So, yeah, that's the exact spot I'm going to go with. He might lead Ambipom. If he does, that's totally fine. I might just protect my Sharpedo, get that plus one, and kind of go from there. But, yeah, yo, your boy is actually recording after I just got done in this round of golf. 18 holes? I'm feeling good. I shot actually really good today. If you guys know me, I'm very athletic and I love sports. So, like, getting out on the greens for a couple of hours was definitely a lot of fun, especially with the boys. So, yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. Definitely uh, screwed up my schedule a little bit because I'm not recording in the morning. Usually, I like to record in the morning, but it's all good. It's all good. I got you guys still. So. I got you guys with a little bit of video, but if any of you guys golf, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to, love to know that about you guys. But uh, he's going to end up leading Sableye and Ambipom. And at th this point, I could just uh, tail when he's not going to fake out my... Uh, he's not going to fake out... Actually, I might just taunt uh, the Sableye, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to taunt the Sableye. And I'm just going to protect this, uh, this Arcanine. Because I feel like fake out has to come into the Arcanine due to us having inner focus. Onto Crobat, he's definitely got to fake out my uh, Arcanine, right? Fake out comes in here. Yeah, we get a nice little block. And Crobat should be a bit faster than Sableye, right? No, it's not. Oh, no, it's Prankster. He's going to taunt me. So I can't taunt him. God dang it. 
I was trying to taunt after taunt, and I'm not allowed to taunt after taunt, which is ridiculous. I mean, that's all good. I guess I'll just Brave Bird in this slot. And at this point, uh, I could actually Will O Wisp into Arcanine or into Ambipom, which is probably my play. It's just a, let's just Brave Bird into him. We're acting uh, Cross Poison, but I'm just going to Brave Bird straight into Sableye and then go for a Will O Wisp into Ambipom, which I think Ambipom is going to U turn out here. No, Sableye's going to drop a Will O Wisp. Nice little play by him. So dang, dude, I wish I would have been able to get off that taunt. That would be a nice little taunt for us. He's going to go for a double hit. That's fine. My boy can soak that up all day. And then we're going to be able to throw a burn onto him, which is lovely. As long as we don't miss it. As long as we don't miss it. And it shows his orb. That's an orb to Ambipom. It's a lovely little orb to Ambipom. We're going to Brave Bird. It's not going to do as much because we are burned, but still chip up a little bit of damage onto him. And we'll take some recoil. Go ahead. Landis Will-O-Wisp. Thank you very much. So Will-O-Wisp flies out on both ends. I'm cool. We still have a Guave Bay. We're going to start chipping up some damage on the Ambipom. Burns are going to fly. So not a bad first turn. I feel like this battle is going to be great all around. I feel like it's going to be great all around. I still have Scissor in the back. So if I can get rid of that, uh, get rid of that Sableye, that could be good for us. Oh, we could go for some crits here, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try to crit up. I could Snarl, but I'm just going to drop a Flamethrower in the Sableye. Chip up some damage onto him and see what he wants to do from here. He's just going to hard swap the Amy Palm. He's going to go into an Intimidate Pokemon. Maybe. Yeah, Arcanine's going to come out here. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna Arcanine intimidate us. We have inner focus. It won't affect us. And my Arcanine is special. Good. Which is lovely. It's just lovely. But I'm kind of scared about this Sableye. Sableye can do a good bit. Sableye can do a good bit. Cross poison can come across here. It's gonna chip up a little bit of damage. But I'm looking to get those crits with him. I'm definitely looking to grab some crits. Flamethrower comes across, chips up, and yes, sir, we get the burn. We get the burn. So another flamethrower will take him out, which is huge. That place gonna fly. That's fine. We're special attacking. And we sell our guav berry. I don't like where we're sitting. Can my taunt end up? I'd love for my taunt then. Because I'm just going to flamethrower in the save light. And I'm just going to cross poison again. Maybe shake off the taunt. So I could hard swap here. Hard swap could be the play into like a Sharpedo. It could be the play. It could be the play. Because we know he's going to taunt me. But at this point, you know, I'm just going to go for the cross poison. Look for the crit again. And kind of roll from there. I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to flamethrower to finish you off. That's fine. That is totally fine. Let's see what he does. He's going to end taunting. Yeah. So I was going to hard swap in the Sharpedo. Probably should have been my play. Probably should have been my play. But hopefully we get this crit. And no, dude. I'm never landing crits. I'm never landing crits with that. Flamethrower comes across. And we pick up the first KO of the match. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. We still have Scissor in the back. And he has a burned Ambipom. So I'm with that. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to go for a Snarl. Okay. Snarl's going to come out here. It's my Guav Berry poke. It does not. But hopefully he throws out like a physical attacker. And I can burn it. So that could be a big time burn on a physical attacker. But I think Ambipom just comes poking back out here, right? I think Ambipom comes back out here for the uh, fake out. Just makes sense. Just makes the most sense for him. And now he's going to send out Tokus, and I really like this. He has Tokus out here, and I have my Scissor in the back end, which is really cool. Scissor is just chilling in the back end. I cross poison into that, chip up some damage, and then I guess I'll just snarl across the board. I guess I'll just snarl across the board. I'm with it. I'm with it. Not a bad first battle. Let's go into this. Give me a crit here. Give me a crit. Still, nice chunk of damage there. Nice chunk of damage. And we show... Oh, we get the, get the poison. And we show that we are fast on the field, which is good. He's going to end up gleaming. I think that does take out my bat, right? No, bat actually eats that up. Why do I think it was super effective on the bat? It's a crit on my Arcanine. Can my Arcanine go next? Beautiful. A Guav Berry is going to poke here. I'm going to go back up to around 80 HP. 90! 90! My Arcanine's loving it. Snarl's going to come out here. Beautiful. Special attack drop on both of them. I think that this uh that this Arcanine is special attacking just like mine. I think it's just like mine. Yo, what a great first battle for BSP. I always love long drawn out battles in BSP. He goes for a heat wave, which is special attacking shot. Snarl's definitely helping us out here. It is helping us out tremendously. And then my figgy berry comes out here. Yo, we are rolling. The berries are buzzing. The berries are buzzing. The berries are buzzing right now. The berries are indeed buzzing. Berries are indeed buzzing. We might not even have to use Sharpedo this battle. We're just rolling out strong right now with the squad. We're rolling out strong. He's going to withdraw the Togi. Togi's going to get the withdrawal here. And that thing's going to have to eat up a, a nice little cross poison. I know we're going to crit on this cross poison. I have a good old feeling about it. I have a good old feeling about it. Give me that crit. But we don't crit, dude. We can't get a crit. Save our lives right now. He's going to go for this. And maybe he thinks I'm going to protect, but I'm not going to protect this turn. I'm not going to protect. I think I'm just going to hard swap. 
I'm just gonna hard swap into my boy right here. Should I hard swap into Sharpedo? I'm thinking I'm hard swapping into Sharpedo. And saving my Intimidate. Kinda with it. I'm kinda with it. What about Shakes off Taunt? Uh, I could go Tailwind, but really no need for it. Actually, I'm gonna try to send it. I'm just gonna hard swap into my Sharpedo at this point. Have our Arcanine in the back with Intimidate ready to go. I'm with it. We need some more damage because this one's going. Real slow. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to play a slow match. At this point. I feel like we have an upper hand. We have an advantage. We should take advantage of it. So I'm gonna swap it to the Sharpedo and get rolling with him. Sharpedo's gonna come out here. Amy Pom's gonna double hit. That's fine. I use it. I use it for a free swap. I use it for a free swap because I don't mind if Crobat goes down. Crobat should be able to send a Tailwind, which is gorgeous. And I think he just pops a heat. Right? Tailwind coming in hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tailwind out, and we have the Shark. Out. Arcanine's gonna snarl. That's totally fine. It takes out my Crobat, and we get a special attack drop, but my boy, Sharpedo, is physical attacking, so that's a solid little turn for us. This solid little turn for us. And then at this point, I just bring back out my, uh, I just bring back out my Scissor. Or not back out. Bring out my Scissor for the first time, because then I can bullet punch straight into Amipom, take him out. I can waterfall into the Arcanine, take him out. But I think he's gonna protect the Arcanine, but still, like I said, I'm just gonna rip, rip a bull punch. This match is pretty much over. Gene just taking the key. Let's go. Let's go. Just cancel that. Actually, don't cancel that. I want my Sharpedo doing some work. Just don't protect the Arcanine. I just want to show the power of this shark right here. This life orb shark. I love it. I was gonna actually use him with like Pelper or Politoed, which I probably should have used him with Politoed just to give the, the rain boost. Would have been huge. But nobody protects. Bull punch in the fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Ambipom. Waterfall is gonna come across. Life orb shot. Stab. Super effective. What more could you guys want? I'm gonna say bye bye to this Arcanine. See you later, Arcanine. Big old damage. Sharpedo. Sharpedo. And the best part about Sharpedo is at the end of every single turn, it's gonna plus one on speedboard, which is amazing. It is amazing. Give me that speed boost. Give me that speed boost, dude. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. I love him so much. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Gen 3. I think I feel like Gen 3 has such a cool Pokemon all the time. It is dope. If I, if I take Sceptile in Gen 3, I always grab Sharpedo. But then if I take Swampert in Gen 3, I take Breloom. But then if I take Blaziken, I get Breloom and... What's it called? I get Breloom and Sharpedo. But I'm just going to protect Scissor. Obviously, I could just take him out instantly. But I want to see how much this Waterfall can do on Stone Kiss. Let's see if he stays in order to cancel battle. He does not cancel battle. So we're just going to protect. I'm hoping this Waterfall can KO. I know I could have won this battle easily. But I think this Waterfall can do enough damage, right? Yeah, yo, we just want to show off the power of the shark. There it is, guys. 1 and 0 for today's video. Nice, solid first battle. Let's hop into our second and look to go back to back. We're hopping into our second battle for today's video, and I got paired up with the same exact opponent. So why not? Let's rematch if that was a solid first battle. Let's look to go back to back here and take them down in two battles. But uh, I think I should leave my Amy Palm right now. Arcanine could definitely be annoying, but I kind of want to leave Kali Score at this. I kind of want to leave Clyde Square at the same time. I really, I just like Clyde Square coming across in the battle. And he's just great all around. Or I can end up leading a Crobat here. I could go Crobat and Clyde Square. I could definitely go Crobat, Clyde Square, which I'm digging. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. He intimidates me, he intimidates me. That's fine. I'm going to try to set up Sword Stance. We'll bring Sharpedo in the back end alongside with Scizor. It just works well. And the reason I want to lead a Crobat also is because if he leads Cresselia, tries to pop a Trick Room and kind of just roll from there and taunt it up. I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here. But yeah, that first battle, not a bad battle. Not a bad battle coming from Jeans and this opponent. But he's going to go Sableye and Breedlim. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Is he going to taunt me? He might taunt me. Um, he could definitely taunt me. He could spore me as well. He could do quite a bit. He could do quite a bit. So I'm not even going to taunt him. I am just going to go straight for like a Brave Bird here. Do I Brave Bird or do I just Cross Poison? Because Cross Poison is going to do a lot of damage too. So I'm just going to Cross Poison. And I'm going to go for a simple sword stance here. I'm going to go for a simple sword stance. He's going to quash me. So I guess he's trying to put me to sleep. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a spore on the hill. Yeah, saw it coming from my way. So he spores me. Um, kind of annoying, but so we set up a sword stance. He's probably just going to quash me and do the same thing next turn, which is rather annoying. But it, it be like that sometimes. It be like that. Tox is going to trigger. We're just going to slowly get after spell. Actually, Tox kills should trigger so we can't go to sleep. Right? Tox kill trigger. Let's go. We cannot go to sleep. That's that that that's big time play. That's big time play. That's big time play. I like that a lot. So at this point, I'll go for the cross poison. I'm just gonna drop an EQ. They're free, right? Or do I just facade? I'm just gonna facade in the breloom. 
That's gonna be my play. Facade into the Breedlim. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Breedlim. Breedlim's gonna get the withdrawal here. And he's gonna send out Arcanine. So Intimidate's gonna trigger. We are still plus one, which is solid. And I wish I would've EQ'd at that point. I wish I would've EQ'd at that point. So we're still plus one on attack board. I could've Sword Stance again. It could be a safe play. It's not a bad spot. But Foul Play could be ripping into us. Kind of sinks. But at least we're not burned onto Recur by this time. Basile comes through here doing some big time damage. And now he's gonna drop Foul Play. Okay. How much damage is that really gonna do? Not that much. Not that much. Plus Poison Heal gives us an extra 20. 22. That's lovely. Alright, cool. I'll go for Tailwind here. And I'm just gonna EQ. I'm just gonna freely EQ while he's chilling on this field. So, what's Arcanine gonna do here? I'm gonna actually outspeed, which is gorgeous. Glass is gonna go first. That should take out Arcanine, no problem. And beautiful, yo. Glasscore Core is ripping, yo. Glass Core, one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. I can't believe I didn't put it on my team. I should have put it on my team for my playthrough. It's just so good. Foul Play's gonna poke here. I can Roost. Uh, I can Tailwind. What do I wanna do here? Really depends who he goes into. That's why I wish I did have Protect with uh, Glass Core instead of Roost, because, you know, Poison Heal just doesn't lie. I'm gonna send out Tokus at this point, and I might just roost. Just roost and cross poison. Is that a tail winning? I should be able to wake up here. I can roost and tail win. That wouldn't be bad. Exactly what I'm gonna do. But I feel like my boy wakes up here, right? And I'm just gonna roost and get all my HP back. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Crabat's gonna wake up. Tailwind's gonna come out here. I'll roost this turn and we'll win from here. I will roost. I will roost. I will Bruce. So we're going to go back up to full HP. Um, I think he's going to hit me and then we get the Tox Heal. I do like where we're sitting. I do really like where we're sitting. Gleam's going to come out here and wow, that Gleam did a ridiculous amount of damage. A little bit too much damage. A little bit too much damage onto my Glass Core. And he's going to foul play me. So I could Roost again. I think I'm going to do. I could definitely Roost again. So I'm thinking of doing. I got the speed. I'm going to Cross Poison and rip some damage right into you. And yeah, let's just Roost again. Or I could take out... Yeah, I could definitely take it out. No way, protect, right? Who do I? Who would I rather have gone? Do I have Scissor in the back end? If I have Scissor in the back end. I don't mind. We know his last Pokemon. I'm gonna EQ here. I'm gonna get rid of the Sableye here. I'm gonna get rid of the Sableye. Oh, we'll Sableye quashes me. I'm gonna quash you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna EQ. We're gonna take out this uh, Sableye, no problem. We'll say see you later, alligator. Oh, we don't get rid of him. That, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. This thing's going to gleam. He's going to take out my Glide score, no problem. But Crobat is going to get off a heavy little, uh, a heavy little, what's it called? Heavy little cross poison on this thing. The so bang, big time cross poison, big time damage. Um, at this point, I could bring out Sharpedo, but Gleam could do me dirty. Gleam could do me dirty. Uh, do I bring out Scizor and just pose a threat and have him hard swap? Obviously, I can do this, but I'm, I might make a big time read here. I might make a big time read. I can just protect. I'm going to Sword Dance this bug, actually. I'm going to Sword Dance this bug while he swaps an Arcanine, right? Or he does that. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. He's going to Willow Wisp me. How dare you? But we are Sword Dance to kind of counteract that a little bit. But if I can get rid of this Togekiss, I feel like my Sharpedo can come in here and just clean this battle, right? That's totally fine. He's probably like, oh, dude, you didn't go for Bull Punch? Nah, yo, we went for Sword Dance. <laughs> we went for Sword Dance, which is big time plays. I was surprised he didn't uh, Willow Wisp my... my uh, what's it called yet? My my bat. Surprised he didn't do that yet. But yeah, we already have speed because I think... Is there, do we still have Talon? We might, but I'm just going to do this. Finish off you. And I guess we'll just... I kind of want to just x her into the here. Just in case he swaps, but I'll, I guess I'll throw a Bull Punch. I guess I'll throw a bull punch, but we were just outplaying our opponent at this point. Bull punch comes flying through here. Bang, bang. See you later, Tokus. Get on out of here. We're going to say bye-bye to Sableye. And that's going to be GG's. That's going to wrap up the battle pretty nicely for us. It's going to wrap up the battle real nicely for us. 2-0 with the Sharpedo team. They didn't even need to use Sharpedo. Sharpedo came in clutch in the last battle. We swapped into uh, Scissor this time, and we got Gliscor rolling. Obviously, I could have kept my Gliscor alive a little bit longer by going into Bruce, but I just thought, like... Taking out that Sableye would have been the play. But yeah, I thought he had Arcanine. Did we take out Arcanine? Oh yeah, we dumped on Arcanine with Gliscor. Wait, there's that Breedlim. Breedlim has a shot to do some things here. 
but actually not really because I'm gonna just brave bird and kill it. I'm just gonna brave bird and bullet punch into it. That's GG's. Cancel the battle. And get on cancel the battle and get on out my Coliseum. I beat you twice. Get on out of here. <laughs> bullet punch gonna come in here. If it's sash, it would take it off. But uh Crobat's gonna finish this one off. Four times super effective with Brave Bird. Base 120 power stab. Reloom on out of here. Even though you look dope and you're shiny. But there it is, guys. 2 0. Let's hop into that third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves that perfect record and use Sharpedo a little bit more. So, guys, I guess this is our third and final battle. We're going up against a team with only two Pokemon that are pretty strong. So, hopefully, I can just use Sharpedo and dominate with it. I'm going to hope that I can just get Sharpedo ripping, get him rolling there. I'm going to lead him, get after. He's got Monferno. He's got Alkazam, which is one of the strong Pokemon, and then he has Mew, which is the other strong. Pokemon. I'm not going to worry about the Psyduck, the Krogunk, or the Machop, but. I feel like we should be fine here. I feel like we should be fine here and grab ourselves a nice little perfect record. This is the only thing I kind of don't like about BDSP is sometimes you get people like this, but at least he has two strong Pokemon. So hopefully he brings them in and hopefully we can just get ripping into them. But Sharpedo does some work. So I'm going to go Sharpedo. Um, I could go Ambipom for a lead. Pretty solid all around. Yeah, let's go Ambipom. I will bring in... Uh, hmm. Glyscore's not too bad. We'll bring in Scizor. Actually, I like Glyscore. Glyscore's so cool. And I'll bring in Scizor. We'll rock out with them. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we are going to grab ourselves a perfect record. Because if I lose this battle right here, I'll never play Pokemon again. I'll let you know that right now. He's going to end up leading the Alkazam. And I don't even think I need to speed boost this. Uh, I just think I faked that out that Alkazam. And I say see you later with a big time crunch, right? Night, night. See you later, dude. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. All right, GG's. Watch, watch this fake out. Watch this fake out damage. Amy Palm probably does the most damage a fake out user can ever do. Like, watch how much damage this does. Fake out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Big time KO from Alkazam. Like I said, this match is going to be a breeze for us, and we're just going to take it for a perfect record. Machop's going to go for a low kick. That might chip me up a little bit. Dang, dude. That Machop did a lot of damage. Got a crit. That did a lot of damage for Machop. I'll give it to him all day. That did a, that did a, a, a solid amount of damage. That did a solid amount of damage. But some things I, I, I wonder is just like, like, why would you come into the Coliseum and battle somebody when you haven't even beat the game yet or haven't even had fully evolved Pokemon? Like, you got to be like, be going up against teams and just losing, right? Right? But actually, that Machop did a lot of damage. I'll give it to him all day. Bub is going to come out here, and this is going to be Monferno. Monferno and, dude, Monferno. I got Waterfall. You're done. And I think Double Hit would, what would do more damage, Aerial Ace or Double Hit? We get Technician Boost. I think this does a lot of damage here. Technician Boost is just beautiful. It's just a lovely sight to see. It's just a lovely sight to see. But uh, this music's jamming. This music's jamming. Sharpedo's ripping in the third final battle. Like I said, I want to get him out here and just do some damage. But we got to showcase him in the first battle. He was doing a lot of damage. He was just ripping in the first battle. Came in hot. Mock Punch. Oh, yo, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the Mock Punch. I was not expecting the Mock Punch. Did a lot of damage to me. But my boy Sharpedo says... Get out of here, Fire Monkey. You gone. You gone. See ya. Uh, double hit should be able to take on Machop. If it doesn't, Amy Palm, you're fired. Okay, you can do it. Beautiful. See you later. See you later. He's going to bring out the final Pokemon. It's got to be Mew, right? There's no way you don't bring out Mew. And I just want to see how much damage Sharpedo can do on the Mew. Because Mew, obviously, his stats are solid. So obviously, it's Mew's stats are going to be solid. Um, its EVs are going to be solid as well. But hopefully he brings it out. It's gonna be Daffy. It's gotta be Psyduck. Never mind. He doesn't even bring Mew. He just he's just he's just asking for a whooping. We're just gonna crunch this, and I guess I'll just fake out just to just to make it fail and have my Sharpedo hit. But our opponent cancels battle, and there it is, three 0 There is, ladies and gentlemen, a nice perfect record for today's video. I know that third and final battle wasn't all that fancy or anything, but at least we got the first two battles going up against a strong opponent and had a great first two battles. They were really good battles all around. Long and drawn out, we got to show off the Pokemon, got to play some good matches and make some great plays all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.